If you've ever been to the beach at Lusk Tyre, or even seen a photograph taken from the beach, then you will have seen the island of Tarrancy. Lying just off the coast, about a mile and a half from the, the shoreline, the island is the largest uninhabited island in Scotland. It's been uninhabited since 1974, and until today, it's not been possible for paid visitors to go and visit the island. But, as luck would have it, today was the first sailing of a boat run by the estate that owns the, the island and we managed to get some tickets so we were on the very first sailing of the very first tourist boat over to the island of Tarancy and uh, this video is about how that day went and I'll share a couple of photographs with you as well. We were supposed to leave from the beach of Horgabost for the short trip over to the island but a combination of high tide and strong winds meant that the boat couldn't get close enough to the beach for uh, the passengers to get on board so instead plan B kicked in and the boat made its way north just to a little bit further north in the town of Tarbit and we jumped back in the cars and drove maybe 15-20 minutes to the new departure point thankfully they had a pier there it was easy enough to get onto the boat and we set off now this was actually quite a good thing because it meant we got to see the beach of Luskintyre and parts of the island of uh, Harris that we would not normally have seen had we gone straight over from Horgabost. So it actually turned out quite well. Once on the island we decided to follow the coastline south and round until we got to the foot of the highest point on the island which is Binra and uh, rather foolishly as we had a few hours to kill we decided we'd climb to the top of Binra and see what the view was like from up there and uh, I've got to say I'm very glad we did it was a, a fantastic view and although it was quite grey and overcast when we started by the time we were making our way back down the hill the, the clouds had burned off and it was a beautiful spectacular clear blue sky day and with views all across Harris and south to North Uist and even out westwards towards the St Kilda archipelago it was a, a dramatic walk and certainly worth the effort if you're on the island Hopefully you can make this out, but we've got some grey seals just down there and lots in the water just here and then over there there's some more on the rocks just down there. Apparently this place was used for a TV show back in the year 2000, some castaway. And uh, they've only just today started um, uh, visits to the island. So we were on the very first boat out and we're just exploring it now. So 
today what we're going to do is we're going to explore in the what would that be the southern end of the island at the moment and then we're going to make our way over to there's a lovely beach which overlooks Luskintyre which is the beach that everybody photographs when they come to Harris so we're going to go there and see if we can get some viewpoints of this very popular uh, location but from a completely unique angle so stay tuned for that in the meantime we're going to we've noticed some seals just down in the rocks here so I'm going to grab some shots of the seals and uh, as I say we're going to explore the island it is pretty dramatic look at the, the landscape here Right, we've had a break, we're slightly recharged, uh, literally and metaphorically, and uh, we're going to head back down now and head to this beach and see if we can get some images down there. Uh, still looking nice, look at this. Beautiful. So, we're going up and over the top again there, and then uh, down to this beach. Once back down at the shoreline where the boat was sitting just off the coast waiting for us to return, we still had two hours to kill, so we decided to make our way north now uh, along the coastline because we'd seen some beautiful beaches just on our arrival, so we decided we wanted to check them out, uh, find a nice spot for a, a small picnic which we'd packed before we left and just relax in what was now a very, very warm sunny day. Is it? Let's not fall in then. Right, we're down on the beach and uh, the first thing that's caught my eye is this little stream which is kind of washing down from this higher part of the beach kind of washing down and then it's meandering its way down into that beautiful blue sea so I'm going to try and get a shot where I include this and the meander all the way down 
I don't have my polarising filter on at the moment, but I think I might need that to try and take some of the sheen off the water and really saturate those amazing colours. But oh, that's looking beautiful, isn't it? Pristine beach here. That's those sand dunes over in Muscatine that we walked through, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> right, we've stopped just down at one of the beaches, um, not too far from where we got dropped off by the boat. We were hoping to go to another beach which is further up, which seems to have a kind of a outshot of sand which kind of reaches out towards. Um, Luskin tire over there, but uh, we're kind of pushed for time now. We've got just over an hour before we have to be back for the boat, and we wanted to just spend a bit of time and just relax and take in the view. So we're going to have a quick bite to eat, and then we're going to uh, out. Here we'll just chill, and I'll try and find a couple of photographs to get um, because this is the view I was talking about earlier over to Luskin Tyre, this long strip of sand here. That's Luskin Tyre Beach and that's the beach that pretty much every photographer that's ever been to Harris has gone and shot from. And uh, it's the first place I went the first time I came. It's the first place I went the second time I came and we actually went there the night we arrived. So uh, it is beautiful, it's very photogenic. So, excuse me, I'm looking straight at the sun. Uh, that's us pretty much for our first ever trip to Tarrancy. Uh, it was lovely, it was, it was beautiful. Um, didn't get along to that other beach, as I said, there we were kind of getting a bit pushed for time. So instead, we've, we've settled on this little beach, which we've got all to ourselves, and uh, we had a bite to eat. I recorded a bit of a time lapse and some underwater footage for use in some of the videos and um, took some photographs. Didn't get a chance to do the long exposure after he shots, but we'll maybe do them later on tonight at Luskin Town. But yeah, all in all, I'd thoroughly recommend a trip over to Tarrancy if you're up in the area. I'll leave details below as to how you can book a tour. And uh, I know we're not sponsored, but uh, yeah, I'd thoroughly, I'd thoroughly recommend it. So that was it for the trip to Tarrancy. I have to say I'm very, very glad that we did it. It's It was probably the highlight of the trip. And uh, um, it one that, you know, had we been there a week earlier, we would never had the chance to do. So it was just good fortune that we happened to be there at the time when the, the first ever sailing took place. I'll leave a link below to the website where you can inquire about bookings or make a booking. And uh, yeah, if you're in the area, I would thoroughly recommend the trip over. Well worth a visit. I'm pretty sure we're going to go back because we only saw maybe half of the island and we'd like to go back and, and see a bit more.